السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته جسر جميلة استقاء مرضى السرطان وبالتعاون مع مستشفى برجيل التخصصي الشارقة باستضافة الدكتور مهدي عفريد أخصائي الأورام الطبية وذلك لتقديم محاضرة توعوية بعنوان حديث الشامة الحضور الكريم في حال وجود أي استفسارات للدكتور رجع كتابتها في صندوق التعليقات وبالتالي سيقوم الدكتور بالرد عليه بعد إن بعد النهاء بعد بعد الانتهاء من المحاضرة وتفضل دكتور مهدي شاك فلتتفضل شاكرا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته شكرا على الاستضافة شكرا سيد الكريمة شكرا لكل الحضور شكرا لجمعية أصدقاء أمراض السرطان لهذه الفرصة الغنية ل للحكي على نوعية من من السرطان اللي هو غير شائع هو قليل جدا جدا بس يقع اكتشافه دائما في مراحل متأخرة اللي هو حديث الشامة اللي هو الميلانوما إن شاء الله واليوم هو اليوم العالمي لسرطان الميلانوما حديث الشامة إن شاء الله يكون اللي حنقدمه هي درجة من توعية ودائما الهدف من هذه المحاضرات وهذه الاستشارات لتوعية الناس للتقصي المبكر لأنه علاج السرطان الوحيد هو يكون بالتقصي المبكر وتشخيص السرطان في مراحل أولى من العلاج وذلك يكون الشفاء إن شاء الله ممكن بعد إذنكم we can start to share the the slides. أكيد دكتور تفضل دكتور. My 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 talk today is about melanoma as I said and this general talk what we need to know about melanoma cancer. The melanoma and the is the seventy most common cancer in the men. And the woman, and there were uh, nearly more than 300,000 new cases in 2018. In the men, it uh, it is the th 13th most common, and in the woman, uh, is uh, it is 50 most common cancer. And as you know, the first cancer in the woman is the breast cancer, and for the men, is the colorectal cancer. Uh, there were more than uh, 150,000 new cases of uh, melanoma. Uh, in 2020, according to the global uh, uh, global can the uh, international uh, base uh, data uh, for uh, WHO, uh, Australia high uh, had the highest over uh, rate of melanoma uh, and the last uh, uh, melanoma in 2020 is more than 60,000. Uh, uh, cases in uh, Australia, followed by New Zealand for uh, the uh, incidence and the immunology for melanoma. So as you uh, uh, see in the, uh, the screen, uh, melanoma, it's not uh, uh, Israel disease, Israel cancer. Uh, and we have in 2020-20, as you see here, uh, more than 300,000 cases and uh, the cause of death by cancer and special by melanoma it's uh, it's it is less and it's more uh, 57000 uh, patients died by uh, melanoma uh, in 2020 uh, the epidemiology data what are the specificity of uh, for uae uh, as you know uh, the melanoma uh, and so the most com the top 10 of uh, cancer in uh, in UAE according to the cancer register in 2015 but skin skin cancer uh, they represent as you see here uh, uh, three three uh, percent of, of cancer in general cancer of all the skin uh, uh, skin cancer and uh, the melanoma uh, uh, skin, uh, melanoma uh, uh, in uh, uh, skin cancer it represents one of the most common uh, uh, malignancy in UAE and the prevalence uh, in uh, UAE is 40 uh, percent 
And the melanoma is the representative of the 14, only 0.6% of, uh, uh, of the, it is the rate of the new cases of uh, melanoma uh, in UAE. But you know, as you know, uh, the most common cancer in UAE, also all the, uh, all the world, is the breast cancer. But uh, we, uh, we are today in the uh, melanoma day. That's why we discuss about melanoma and to have some education about melanoma. But, uh, what is the risk factor of uh, uh, melanoma or the skin? Uh, or the skin? According to uh, the uh, general uh, um, uh, factor uh, uh, that um, w, uh, the World Health Organization uh, established, there is three inter uh, uh, interaction between three most important uh, factors. Uh, there is risk factors, uh, uh, environmental uh, risk factor. There is some phenotype or demography risk factor. And there is some familial uh, and genetic uh, uh, risk factor. For the environmental uh, uh, risk factor, there is uh, the UV light. As you know, uh, there is some immunosuppression treatment uh, uh, that increase the risk. Also, uh, the obesity, the increase the risk, and the level of the social economy status, the increase the risk to, uh, to get melanoma. The second uh, 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 risk is demography or phenotype, the race, uh, the male, uh, age more than 50, 60, uh, 65 years, and uh, for the uh, light AA uh, is the uh, risk factor to develop a melanoma uh, uh, for the demography risk. The family and the genetic, there is some mutation. There is some uh, mutation nodes uh, in uh, some family. Uh, these mutations, uh, they increase the risk and they will be high risk to, uh, uh, to get uh, a melanoma. All this uh, uh, interaction between uh, this risk factor, they increase uh, uh, the risk to, uh, to have a melanoma. Uh, the most important thing we need to highlight uh, to, uh, to high risk is the genetic uh, uh, factor and the UV uh, radiation. The UV radiation, according to the sun and the UV radiation, they will uh, uh, modify and they will affect uh, uh, our system, the protection system and the uh, uh, skin, uh, uh, skin protection by uh, generating uh, mutation, by uh, uh, um, cutting the uh, DNA, and they will affect the reparation of uh, the DNA, and they will increase uh, the risk of uh, to get melanoma and to get skin cancer. For the genetic uh, part, as you know, there is some uh, uh, people that we have uh, nervous. The uh, genetic is uh, uh, genetic related and with uh, the additional risk to UV radiation, uh, uh, the risk uh, is increasing to get skin uh, cancer. The risk factor, we need to take one home research. There is extra uh, uh, risk factor, ultra violation uh, uh, radiation, U, B, and B. Uh, as we know, uh, we have some medication, immunosuppression, uh, like for uh, psoriasis and everything. And we have some uh, pesticide and environmental. So, for the extra risk factor, we uh, discussed this, the, uh, the risk factor to get uh, uh, to have a melanoma. The intrinsic risk factor is you have any past med medical history of the skin cancer, melanoma or no melanoma. We have a, a large number of uh, NAV uh, in the uh, in the, the skin and the body. Uh, some immunosuppressor treatment for another uh, no cancer disease, uh, some uh, uh, syndrome and some disease like we know uh, exoderma uh, pigmentosoma, there is skin uh, uh, genetic disease, uh, they, they increase the risk to get also melanoma because the DNA repair is defected and some uh, skin complications uh, that we uh, will be affected by the high level of UV. All this uh, intra uh, uh, sec and extra sec risk factor, uh, this the most important uh, risk factor to get uh, melanoma. How uh, uh, to do the uh, positive diagnosis of uh, melanoma? 
Melanoma is the most serious type of skin cancer. Uh, is developed in the cell, the melanocyte. And this melanocyte is the cell that produces melanin. It's the pigment that they give your skin uh, color. This, uh, uh, this slide shows three types of skin cancer. This uh, first type, basal cell carcinoma, squam cell carcinoma, and I will talk today about the melanoma. So you uh, can see in this screen the difference between the three types of the skin, and, and this uh, melanocyte and this melanin, uh, that this, uh, this hormone that we give uh, the, uh, uh, the, the pigment of the skin. So, there is uh, uh, A, B, C, D, E uh, symptoms, complaint to make the diagnosis of the melanoma. So we need to keep in your mind after the risk factor of, uh, 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 of the uh, melanoma, uh, how to uh, make the diagnosis. The, the diagnosis of melanoma uh, in 90% is the clinical uh, uh, diagnosis, uh, but by A, B, C, D, a. What is A, B, C, D? A, the lesion uh, of a melanoma and suspect the lesion in the skin is asymmetric, is asymmetric. There is no linear draw of uh, comparing to the normal lesions or benign lesion. As you can here, la, a line is a linear. Here, there is uh, asymmetric. Here, we have the big lesions. Here, we have another uh, lesions. This asymmetric is the first A, of the diagnosis of uh, melanoma. Second thing, the border of the lesion and the skin leader. The border uh, here is clear, is regular, as you see for the benign lesion. But in the border for the melanoma, there is irregularity of, uh, of uh, the uh, border of the lesions. Uh, the irregularity uh, of the border lesion is the second sign uh, that we suspect uh, a melanoma. Uh, third uh, sign is C. C is color. Uh, uh, the color for the normal, uh, for the benign lesions is one color, this uh, homogen color. But uh, here there is multiple color, but can we see here is the dark, is less dark. We have multiple uh, uh, type and multiple colors in the skin lesions. Uh, fourth uh, uh, signs or uh, symptoms is uh, is the diameter the diameter general uh, the benign lesions is smaller but uh, uh, the uh, melanoma is uh, a big and we have uh, some uh, surre revelation in, in in the skin that's why uh, uh, the diameter it's not regular not like here it's easy to make the diameter here it's very large and it's irregular in the diameter uh, 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 the uh, fifth uh, symptoms and complaint is E, e uh, that's uh, uh, e evolving. Uh, the evolving, uh, that's uh, uh, any change in the skin, any change in the shape, and the change in the color, any uh, surevaluation, uh, and uh, another lesion will be. All these uh, uh, symptoms, uh, uh, they can uh, give us some alarm. Uh, uh, to, uh, to, to, to be suspected. And there is some other lesions for the skin like bleeding, itching, uh, crusting. Uh, this uh, lesions uh, also is a dangerous uh, for uh, a diagnosis of melanoma. So the clinical uh, uh, diagnosis of melanoma is ABCD, uh, asymmetric, border irregularity, color, multiple color and dark color, diameter large and irregular, and e, there is evolving during the time with some uh, symptoms, bleeding, itching, and cursing is dangerous for the skin lesions. All uh, this uh, fifth uh, symptoms and clinical uh, complaints, they will affect uh, uh, melanoma and to push the patient to uh, meet uh, uh, the uh, specified doctor. So, uh, melanoma is the skin cancer, so all the cancer we need uh, histology uh, 
diagnosis, the certain and to confirm the diagnosis of cancer, we need histopathology. We'll take the uh, histopathology exam by biopsy or by uh, any surgery excision for one skin lesions. And in the histopathology report, there is two uh, uh, mandatory uh, steps we need to uh, see it in the histopathology report is uh, the uh, which level of decrease uh, of, of uh, depthes um, that we have uh, uh, of these lesions because it's very important that we accord our treatment. As you know, this, uh, this the different part of our skin divided in, uh, 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 in four, uh, four, uh, four um, uh, part with the subcutaneous tissue, this uh, lipomatosis. So we need in the histopathology uh, uh, to, uh, to know what is the depth of uh, this lesion. Uh, second thing is the level of Clark's. Uh, uh, this level of uh, uh, Clark's is a mandatory about uh, also the diameter of the lesion and how, how, uh, what is the diameter and uh, uh, the size uh, of this lesion with the thickness and uh, the depth of uh, of the lesions. This two uh, uh, factor, it's uh, it is mandatory. Uh, it's a prognosis factor because, as you know, more the lesion is uh, bigger, large, more the lesion is uh, uh, thick and high, more the prognosis it's uh, it's uh, poor, and uh, the treatment will be uh, different. After confirmation of cancer, melanoma, by the histopathology, we have in the histopathology melanoma with two uh, steps, Breslow depth, uh, thickness, and Clark layer. We need to make the diagonal, the stage of, we need to make the stage of the melanoma, which stage, as you know, uh, uh, everyone, that the stage, uh, they will give us what is the next steps uh, for the treatment, and they will uh, give us the, uh, the management and to draw for the management. So, for, uh, uh, after the confirmation by the histopathology, we need to confirm uh, and to do the staging or the workup by uh, local regional the, to check clinical there is any another lesions in the, uh, the skin and distant by doing the CT scan and uh, uh, the PET scan to make there is any diffuse any spread of the disease uh, uh, um, of the uh, of the disease as you know uh, in the histopathology uh, uh, report I, I i told there is two things the uh, thickness of the disease because there is correlation be between the diameter between the large and the thickness of the disease uh, uh, the increase to spread and to get uh, metastasis it's higher when the lesions uh, it's uh, it's high and it's large and very deep. As we uh, check here, there is um, we can see here there is ambition of uh, the vascular uh, uh, system. Uh, after confirmation and doing our uh, staging, which stage we are, the stage one to stage four. Stage one is the localized uh, uh, disease, and stage four there is diffuse disease or spread disease. We need to make and to draw uh, the therapeutic plan, the therapeutic oncology plan. What is next? Yes, we have melanoma, but what what, what we can uh, treatment we can propose for the patients? For the uh, uh, as we know, everyone everywhere uh, and all the uh, uh, rules, uh, international uh, rules uh, everywhere in the world. Uh, cancer is serious uh, sickness, and for the serious uh, uh, sickness. Uh, we have support by uh, several specialty. Here we have the oncologist, we have the dermatologist who make the diagnosis, the histopathology who, who make uh, 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 the confirmation by histopathology. We have the radiology part for the workup and the staging, and this the several specialty. And also when we hear there is cancer. It's a hearing of cancer, the touch of many aspects of the life, uh, a patient's life, family life. That's why the state in the World Cup is mandatory, but uh, uh, we need to uh, collaborate and to accordingly to draw uh, the personalized therapeutic st strategy for every, uh, every patient, uh, not to give general oncology plan. We now, uh, in 2020, 
2020, we are in the area of uh, personalized uh, treatment. That's why we need to draw this therapeutic strategy. For this uh, drawing, we need, and all the uh, international guidelines requires that the management of the skin cancer, in special in uh, melanoma, should be uh, multidisciplinary. What does it mean, multidisciplinary? Disciplinary, that the decision of the management uh, uh, plan may be at least by three or more doctors of different specialty, expert in the uh, pathology, at least uh, uh, one oncosurgeon, at least uh, and dermatology, medical oncology, radiotherapist, in the context of the multidisciplinary uh, uh, meeting, and uh, the name is the tumor board. The tumor board is allowed to give the Plan, the strategic uh, strategy and there is the rules uh, in everywhere in this the international guidelines we cannot treat any patients without the uh, uh, without the uh, tumor board decision so the most important thing treatment of the melanoma is the surgical part surgical part is 90 90 percent uh, is the uh, treatment but uh, uh, we will treat according to the stage and uh, the uh, the surgical part is uh, the to to remove the primary tumor and uh, the lymph node that assure the drainage of uh, of this uh, tumor we will do uh, excision of biopsy and we have now some advances uh, treatment in the uh, lymph node uh, dissection. We know we will not go directly for uh, uh, to remove all the lymph node. We have some advances to treat, uh, uh, treatment uh, named sentinel lymph node. Yeah, that does mean we examine uh, the first uh, uh, lymph node, the first lymph node that we drain uh, this tumor. If this uh, positive, we will continue uh, the lymph node dissection. If this uh, lymph node is clear, there is no uh, disease, we will stop and we will remove only the primary uh, tumor and the primary uh, skin lesion. So the surgical part is the, be uh, the biggest and the important part and the most important uh, part of the therapeutic strategy uh, to uh, take care of the melanoma. So, uh, according after the surgical uh, part, according to the histopathology and the final histopathology, we can add uh, radiotherapy. As we know, radiotherapy is local regional treatment. They will decrease the local regional recurrence and the indication if we have some lymph node positive involvement of the tumor, if we have big size, if we have some histopathology uh, uh, indication, we can decide the patient should go for radiotherapy or no. Uh, third part is the medical oncology uh, part. The medical oncology part, we have the system is systemic treatment is uh, IV or uh, uh, through the blood. Uh, we have uh, no chemotherapy for the uh, for the melanoma to the melanoma. Uh, all the data and the clinical data that uh, we did uh, uh, in chemotherapy, there is no place for chemotherapy for melanoma. But now, as I said, uh, we are in the area of the target therapy. We are personalized for mutation. We can uh, get some molecular testing, some molecular uh, effect of uh, the melanoma, and uh, according to, to this molecular meeting and the NGS, we can propose for the patient for immunotherapy or for target therapy. It depends of the result of the, um, uh, the molecular testing, and it depends also for the staging for the patients. So uh, we can uh, also add the uh, uh, immunotherapy or the target therapy according to the uh, patient with high risk of uh, uh, treatment and according to uh, 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 the molecular testing. And with the, the, both the target therapy and we have immunotherapy, we have large benefit and we have a, a, a benefit in overall survival uh, for the patient with uh, uh, with melanoma to improve uh, the prognosis of the melanoma, improving by uh, reducing the recurrence local regional or to reduce the distance and to make diagnosis. Uh, also, we are working for the future to um, taking care of the melanoma. Uh, we have some treatment according uh, ongoing uh, on, on clinical trial uh, ongoing with uh, uh, 
with the update mutations, with the update immunotherapy, with update checkpoint, with uh, 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 the future of biomarkers uh, uh, for the treatment. So uh, this is the first, uh, uh, second part of the treating, but uh, screening, uh, it's very important to screen and the screen the make uh, early, uh, uh, earlier the diagnosis and we are uh, curable. For what does it mean screening? We have, we need to, uh, uh, to divide screening, you have prevention or early, detection, early diagnosis. Prevention, that does mean uh, we detect and treat precancerous lesions. There is some precancer, there's no cancer, but precancerous lesions, uh, we need to detect it and to treat it. Uh, uh, with this prevention, we, we uh, uh, decrease the incidence of cancer, we decrease the uh, incidence of mortality, like in uh, colorectal cancer, if you have some polyp, you need to remove it. Uh, uh, in cervix cancer, if you have some lesions, be cancerous, when we remove, there is, inshallah, no cancer. The uh, second method is the, to early diagnosis. The early diagnosis is to diagnose cancer at early stage. With uh, early stage, we can start early treatment and with early treatment, inshallah, the treatment will be uh, curable. That's what uh, we are doing in the breast cancer mm, uh, and now today for uh, the melanoma. So for the screen, prevention, early detection or early diagnosis. So uh, all the skin cancer should be uh, prevented and uh, it should be a detection uh, uh, by uh, the patient, by the self-examination, uh, when we have any doubt to, uh, to make sure to, uh, to, to meet the doctor and the specialist doctor to do the, uh, uh, the clinical exam because the melanoma is clinical exam, make the uh, fifth complaints, the fifth symptoms to make diagnosis of melanoma. So uh, screening melanoma is the early detection. You need to recognize all the skin lesions. It's very important for us. Uh, uh, recognize the symptoms of the melanoma that I described with the A, B, C, D, A. And uh, one thing and one step, it's very important. Uh, the, the patient or the normal uh, uh, people, they should do the regular self-examination of the skin. And uh, you need to examine your skin in, in the front and back, all the body uh, in, in the mirror, uh, then uh, uh, the light, uh, right, left side, warm, uh, uh, raise it. You need to check a part by part there is any skin uh, lesions and any modification in the skin. Uh, because as you know, uh, melanoma, we can get everywhere, uh, every, uh, in each place in the uh, tumor. Uh, melanoma with the screening, early detection, it's more uh, curable uh, uh, of, the disease, uh, of the disease. So uh, I, uh, I will finish my, uh, uh, my um, talk about to insist for, uh, uh, for the UAV uh, protection, for the sun pro uh, uh, protection. And uh, we need uh, to, uh, to avoid, avoid all the measure uh, all the time by protecting your skin, protecting your skin by uh, the tree, uh, by the uh, uh, sun, uh, by the cream, by uh, F, by the gloves, by the pant wearing uh, uh, like uh, lifestyle to uh, uh, to decrease uh, uh, the risk uh, to have this contact with UV uh, and the protection with UV. Uh, uh, with the protection, we can uh, uh, stop the modifications. Of, uh, of uh, modification of uh, the skin mutation and inshallah all will be uh, okay. So uh, 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 thank you. Uh, one message, it's very important to conclude, to conclude is uh, early detection, early diagnosis, uh, uh, curable. Uh, we need to uh, make uh, uh, in mind the f f f symptoms of uh, melanoma to be sure Uh, شكرا دكتور uh, والان الحين uh, فقره الاسئله uh, جمهورنا الكريم اذا في uh, اي استفسار اي سؤال حابين تطرحونه للدكتور 
فالدكتور موجود ويرحب بجميع فيها تقدرون تسوون انموت تسالون او حاب اذا حابين تكتبون في صندوق المحادثات نفس الشيء تقدرون تكتبون أعتقد دكتور المحاضرة كانت واضحة جدا والجمهور ما عنده أي سؤال طبعا في الختام نود توجيه شكر خاص للدكتور مهدي عفريد على هذه المحاضرة القيمة والجهود المبذولة لنشر الوعي عاملين مزيدا من التعاون المثمر إن شاء الله في تقديم ما يخدم المجتمع في المستقبل إن شاء الله شكرا جزيلا دكتور شكرا سيدتي الكريمه شكرا لكل الحضور وان شاء الله نكونوا بالاستفاده وال هو التقصي والتقصي والوقايه من كل مخاطر السرطان وان شاء الله الله يحميكم وان شاء الله يديكم العافيه ان شاء الله شكرا واحب انوه للجمهور الكريم ان المحاضره وموجوده على منصه اليوتيوب في قناه الجمعيه اذا حابين يلجؤون لل بعد شو اسمه بعد فتره من الوقت فراح يكون موجود ان شاء الله شكرا دكتور شكرا شكرا, شكراً. اهلا وسهلا